All right, in this video, we're going to be doing Renegades by X Ambassadors. Great little song, pretty easy to do. First thing we're going to do is look at the chords, where they come from, how to build the song, then how to do the left hand fingering, and then we're going to check out the two rhythm patterns that go into making up this song. Because for the intro, the verse, the chorus, bridge, and the outro, it's the same chords in the same order. So once we get those two patterns down, we're going to have the whole song. So first thing first, let's check out the chords. Now there's only four, and they're the magic four chords of all pop music. Chord one, four, five, and six. Now we're going to be in the key of D. Now if those Roman numerals don't mean anything to you, they will. So if we want to build our song here, we're going to grab those chords. And the progression of the song is six, one, five, four. Just like that. So once we have our Roman numerals, all we have to do is choose a key, in this case D, and then choose a position. Now, the position we're going to use today is the D position. It's a pretty easy one, although we do have a bar chord. And this D position, we want to be in the key of D, so we're going to have no capo. If we wanted to change the key, we could put a capo and then choose accordingly. So what that position is, it's just a shape or pattern of notes on the fretboard. And we don't have to worry about that right now, but what we do have to know is that inside that shape is a group of seven chords. These chords up here. Uh, it's D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, or a seven if we want, B minor, and C sharp diminished. Now for us, for this song, it's going to be a B minor, chord six. Chord one is D major. Our chord five is A major. And chord four is G. Now how do we play that? Well, first thing first, we need to look at our diagrams and a little note for what the symbols mean. The colors are for the parts of the chord and we need, today we're going to just need the root. So pay close attention to where that green root is. And the other ones are the finger numbers. So for example, let's say we want chord six. Remember that the, the fingers there are the notches on the black dot. So we're going to start with the third finger and that's on string one, two, three, four. Then the fourth finger, second finger, and a first finger bar. We want to make sure that the lowest note is the root right there. So when we're doing our strumming patterns and our picking patterns, we have to make sure that that lowest note is the green dot. And a way we can get, do this with the, uh, the B minor is take that first finger and lightly touch the underside of the e, low E string so that when we're strumming, it doesn't make a noise. And that root is also going to be where the right hand does its picking from. We'll get to that in a sec. All right, so our next chord, we need chord one. In this case, it's going to be a D major. So we'll start with our third finger again on that third fret, put the second finger down, and then the first. And again, start from the D string there with the root. Try to get a nice full sound. All right, next chord is five. A good way to change to this one is to lift the second finger, slide the third finger back, put the second finger down. Okay. So from D, nice fast change. And then finally, the four chord is gonna be G. Relax the hand, keep the third finger where it is, and slowly slide the hand up till the third finger is about halfway. Put the pinky down. And there's our 
here's our G. So there's two ways we're going to play this G. This is the strumming way here. But when we do our picking, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pinky off. Right here, we'll take our pinky off and our first finger off because we don't need those strings. And put the pinky instead on this red third right there. That way we can get these two notes ringing together in the intro and the picking parts. All right, let's do a quick review. We got chord six. Chord one. Chord five. And then chord four. Or this. All right, so now what is the right hand doing? Let's take a closer look at that. So that's our first picking pattern. The way it's going to look on our score is like that. Now the symbols for the right hand are P, I, M, and A. So thumb is P, index, middle, and the ring finger is A. Now we're not going to be using the A. We're only going to use these three. Uh, the I and the M are going to stay on these two strings for the whole picking pattern while the thumb will jump around to find the root of the chord. So if you can remember where that root is, make sure your thumb follows that. The way we're going to count this is one, <laughs> one, and two, and three, and four and and because i'm on this chord you can see the root was on the a string now when we change chord to d the thumb moves up one and two and three and four and change chord one and two and three and four and change chord one and two Get that pinky on the G string there. And full speed sounds like. Okay. Now, after that, the only thing we have left to do after playing that twice is do the strumming pattern. And for strums, it's just arrows. Now, the downstroke is actually the up arrow on the page. So that's a downstroke. That's a downstroke. Here's an upstroke, but this is a miss. It means you don't actually hit the strings. So that's a downstroke. Upstroke is with the thumb. Make sure you turn your wrist. And a miss is the same exact motion, but not contacting the strings. That'll help you stay in time and have a really good groove. So here we go. One miss two miss miss and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four one and two and three so that's a a kind of a one bar repeating um, pattern there. And the last little trick is when we play our chords to get a little extra texture out of it, rather than just playing the whole chord for every strum on beat number one, we're only going to play the lowest part of the chord. And it's a little bit tricky. So instead of playing a whole strum, whoops, we're going to try to just isolate the bottom, the bottom string here, maybe the bottom two. So rather than this, kind of get gives it a little bit of a more of a texture now if you have a hard time with that just forget about it and play the whole chord 
and uh and that just about does it so we'll take a quick look at the beginning once more the two two rhythm patterns and see how it looks all together <laughs> So that just about does it. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. And uh, any requests, let me know. And we'll see you next time.